Hey guys, Jeff here from HireTrustMarketing.com and InfoMarketerZone.com. Thanks for joining us today. We're going to go through in this video how you get traffic to your product launch. Now, by product launch, I take a pretty broad view of what a product launch is. You may just have a new website you want to start getting traffic to where you want to convert people either into a list or you want to convert people into um, an e-commerce customer where you've got some e-commerce items on your site and you want to get them converting on that front or you could have your own uh, information product your own ebook your own book uh, your own training course that sort of thing so I look at product launches as any type of situation where you want to announce to the world that you've got something new online and that you want to drive new traffic and you need to drive new traffic to be able to get attention interest and and start converting that into leads and, and into sales so Let's first look at, and we're going to go through five examples of how you can get that traffic in just one minute. But what do you do with that traffic? Because, you know, I, I we coach a lot of people over at infomarketerzone.com on their businesses. And one um, common problem that I see a lot of people is they go after the traffic <laughs> um, techniques first and they start bashing their brains out and, and spending all kinds of money on trying to get traffic when they haven't actually got the, the monetization sales funnel side of things uh, down. So what is a sales funnel? Where well, sales funnel is really just a mechanism for, um, for getting visitors to your site and then doing something with them to warm them up and to get them to know you, to bring them into your, um, into your sales process. That's really what it is. So it's usually a combination of things like you, you need a landing page. So what is the page that they're going to land on? And what do you want them to do? Now, typically, we advise in almost every business, when they land on the page, you want them to do something for an incentive. And that incentive uh, is pretty critical. When we talk about um, a few things that are important here, it needs to be a number one priority for the type of tar target audience that you're bringing to your site. So that means it's got to be important to them. It's got to be urgent to them. It's got to be emotionally charged. It's got to be... Um, you know, solving the problem or fulfilling the desire needs to have a, a tremendously high uh, value to them. Otherwise, they're just not going to pay any attention. They're going to go on looking for what they're looking for on the site. So if you catch their attention with something extremely high value uh, and um, it's emotionally charged, it's something that you're almost sort of tapping into their brain um, and and saying, I know there's a subset of the market out there that is is trying to answer the question that that I can help them with. And whether that's losing weight or whether it's saving a relationship or whether it's raising a child, um, whether it's um, starting a business, you know, all kinds of different topics and subtopics within that, you need to make sure it's emotionally charged and a high priority. It also needs to be closely aligned with your offer. You can't, it doesn't do you a whole lot of good to be able to have an effective sales funnel to get a certain type of audience, but then put offers in front of them that are incongruent with that, meaning it it doesn't really match. What do I mean by that? Well, let's say you 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 bring people into your sales funnel based on maybe they want to um, they want to lose uh, ten pounds around their their belly, right? And so you offer them an incentive: um, lose ten pounds of belly fat within thirty days. Here's the system. Now you then bring them into your sales funnel based on that incentive and you start to get subscribers and you start to get interest, you start to get leads. And then on the back end, you start maybe um, you try and sell them a product that is somewhat incongruent. You might sell a product that um, is a general weight loss product. You might sell a product that is a diet product. But really what they signed up for and what they're highly congruent with is losing weight around their belly. And so ideally, your back-end product targets specifically that particular problem, and it does make a huge difference. We've we've done this with thousands of, of different customers, and it does make a huge difference, okay? Uh, instead of examples, what would you use? Well, special reports, video series, private members area, workbook, or exercise book. These are all effective. Um, videos tend to be very effective today, workbooks and exercise books, things that people can actually use, uh, apply to their life, and even uh, they, can, they can send back into you are all very highly coveted and um, you know it, it, not so much the format is important here as getting the emotionally charged topic and offering them some value a uh, high value in terms of that incentive so that's the objective of the landing page the landing page can be a blog page that's solely focused on capturing opt-in and that means you need an autoresponder typically 
Um, you can head over to our site, HireTrustMarketing.com. We we sort of share uh, some examples of sales funnels, some of the tools we use, that sort of thing. We've been in this business for over 10 years online, and we've helped thousands of others um, start their businesses and grow their businesses as well. All right, so now you've got the you've got your landing page down, you've got your product uh, decided, and now you need to drive content, or sorry, drive traffic uh, to those. Uh, web pages and you might be doing a launch you might be doing a relaunch just a, an introduction of your business number one you need um, a number one method we're going to talk about is using content and that is producing daily content what are con- what's content well content can be everything from you know a 15 20 minute video q and a video um, a tip or technique a strategy a case study right through to a very short you know 140 character twitter post or a uh, facebook post you need to be really developing multiple types of content each day and here's what I like to do is I like to develop a main piece of content that's whether it's written blog post or it could be an article uh, up on medium it could be uh, a video and then I like to announce that um, across the different social networks so I'll put an announcement maybe a few paragraphs on Facebook and then a link uh, Twitter blast saying that there's new content and here's the problem it solves go on Instagram snapchat that sort of thing right um, repost that content on Medium and repurpose your content. So if you've developed a video, let's say it's a 10-minute Q&A video, well, just repurpose that. Either get it transcribed or transcribe it yourself um, to a written format. You post that to your blog. You post it to Medium. You start to to spread that content out. Just from one creative, um, one creative piece, you can get 12 to 14 different pieces of content out there in one day. Now, if you do that every day for 30 days, you're going to get massive, massive coverage and start to get really significant traffic to your site. Most people, you know, they won't do this. They either won't repurpose their content or they'll develop content sporadically. They'll develop it for a couple of days and then, you know, um, nothing else for another week. Well, that's not the way you do this. It works, but it works if you're consistent and if you repurpose your content and if you get your syndicate your content out to the different directories. Now, this can be done in, in as little as an hour or two a day. It doesn't need to take you all day. It may seem like a lot of work and the first time you do it, it may seem a little complicated, but certainly as you get your, you know, what I do is keep all of these social networks up in my background and every time I produce a piece of content I answer a question on Twitter for example or on a forum uh, or I post a blog post I just blast it out to the different social networks and there I've got my syndication and it takes me like five or ten minutes okay so that's the content approach that will drive significant traffic to your site number two method is affiliates so if you've got your own products or at least um, your ability to resell products at a margin where you can bring on affiliates uh, e-commerce products margins are usually thinner it could be 10 15 percent for information type products you could get 40 to 50 percent away um, the method here is you need to go out and actively pursue these so a lot of mistakes are made by um, product creators you know uploading their product to their site or to amazon kindle or to um, clickbank or to some directory and thinking okay my job's done now affiliates are going to flock to it uh, not true um, even for the best products, you need to be, at least in the beginning, you need to actively pursue 20 to 30 high quality partners or affiliates to drive uh, your launch. And because they've never heard of you and they don't know the track record of your product, you need to go out and find them. And, um, you know, we talk about in infomarketerzone.com, we talk about a technique that's been highly effective in how you approach these affiliates and how you take them through a, st- a three step process to be able to to get the affiliate partnership from them. You don't usually hit them up right away saying, you know, we're going to launch this product, be my affiliate. There's a bit more of a process to it, but it's still, it's not rocket science. Uh, You need to develop some affiliate tools. These can be some emails. They should be some graphics and links uh, to be able to make it simple for people to promote your product. You want to give them advanced access to your product. There's no reason why you want to hoard your product. You want to get this into their hands. In fact, that's step one of the process is really you offer them a review copy you, you tell them how, how impressed you are with their presence in that market and that you would really appreciate it if they would, you know, take a few minutes and look at your product and see how it fits. And that's how the whole process starts. Uh, find them by locating authority. So you want to see them. They're usually authority bloggers. They're um, authorities on social, so Facebook or Twitter. Uh, you find them on YouTube. They produce videos or at least um, the links back to their sites are on YouTube. Um, they have forums, etc. So you'll, that's how you find them. And then you approach them using the system that we use. Um, search 
for the closest competitor. So if you find other eBooks or other courses, training programs, or other product uh, resellers for an affiliate type product that you're selling, go and search that across the web and find it where they're placed. And you'll find that um, a lot of those are on other affiliate sites and uh, you can go after those affiliates. That's fair game. Um, that, that's a very common technique for mining some of the top affiliates out there. You could search Facebook groups both around your topic. So Facebook groups exist around interest areas, but also around JV brokers. So there's usually uh, um, Facebook groups specifically for joint venture brokers who look to be the middleman to set you up with some relationships with some big authority figures. Be careful with those guys, by the way, because they will want to cut. And, um, you know, I would I would use that as a last resort. Um, but if you're trying to reach certain specific uh, mega affiliates, they may have relationships with them and you can actually negotiate uh, access to those specific affiliates um, and then run a contest you know um, a lot of affiliates will really appreciate this if you can run extra incentive over the commission they would make and you know run a contest for the top five in lead generation and the top three in referrals this is a very common technique and that you know what your contest is um, you know can can be baseline so if they they've got to move at least say five of your products so that you can build in a, a um, you know, so if somebody just sells one and they become your your top sort of uh, referral, um, let's say your product doesn't do as well and you're, you've got a fear around that, um, then you can, you know, you can get out of that by putting a floor on your contest and make sure that you're only paying people when you're getting the money in the in-house. Okay, so affiliates, tremendously great way to also drive traffic to your site in uh, during a launch. Number three, forums and groups. So search out discussion forums. Um, become active. You got to watch this approach. There's a real art to this. Um, you can't just go out and blast your stuff all over these these groups. So it's Reddit groups, Facebook groups, Twitter lists. Um, there's Amazon groups. There are there are forums. It takes a little bit longer. Um, I would start this maybe a month before your launch and just start to to get on to some of those um, networks and begin to, to post content, useful comments and things. And every every sort of fifth or sixth post. Just let them know that you've got a program starting and that you're looking for both affiliates and there's a special launch discount that's going to be had. So you'll get people, you'll capture people that way. Um, you can start by running weekly webinars. You can start to build up attention, interest and desire that way. You know, a great way to approach a lot of these forums is to offer free stuff and wide open free stuff. So you can start to run, say, a weekly webinar where you do a and a around your topic or or just, um, you know, anything that runs, say, 20 minutes to a half an hour um, that will be helpful for your community and you can drive traffic to that and then have an offer to uh, opt in, you know, as part of that webinar, both at the beginning and the end. Um, you can even for some markets, if you've got a high end training product, let's say it's a real estate training product or a sales training product or or, um, you know, something like that, you can actually consider an offline seminar. These are highly effective as well, where you take an evening a month uh, or one day a weekend a month and you drive interest through offline uh, type seminars. You record them, make them online seminars and, and, you know, you reach local and global that way. Um, mix content engagement with soft announcements. So again, you know, be careful how you approach people and, and uh, typically send them to free stuff. So method number four, paid ads, um, Facebook ads, PPC. These all can be highly effective in driving interest to your sales funnel. You can easily drive 50 to 100 leads a day, uh, but you're going to pay for it. So if you've got a budget for spending anywhere from 50 to $100, you can drive some nice traffic to your launch um, in the early days. And it is a highly effective way of, of getting early traffic, probably the most effective way, to be honest, because of the targeting capability you can use. Now, you have to know your numbers, though. And that's the catch. That's the catch, right? Because if you haven't done anything, and you're just you're, you've got your landing page, your sales pages, your your sales funnel is all brand new, you don't you don't know how it's going to convert. And so you may be throwing a lot of money. It could be this could be your test, right? So you can throw um, uh, two or three hundred leads, spend you know somewhere between fifty to one hundred and fifty dollars to throw um, two or three hundred leads at your sales process and see what happens. Right? And if you start to convert three or four customers, then you're off to a promising start. You can tweak it and you can start to spend more ad money to bring, you know, you'll be basically running a flat line uh, campaign if you're selling, say, a $40 product or a $50 product. 
um, drive the traffic to the sales funnel so you can capture the leads and then you can retarget those leads through both advertising and your own email blasts and your own content, right? And that will make your ROI better. But you need to get a handle on your ROI in any case, return on investment. What are you getting per hundred uh, leads that you're sending using any traffic method? What's your return on that? And that will let you know whether you can continue or whether you need to tweak some part of your overall campaign. Okay, uh, the fifth method is uh, reviews. Now, this method's often overlooked. People think of paid, people think of content, people think of forums and, and going that way, but people often overlook you know, going and, and just blasting their product out to a whole lot of authority figures and trying to get some reviews. Um, obviously, publishers do this, and authors who are published are taught to do this. Um, it's an approach we use when launching, um, not only to get traffic, but also to seek out initial reviewers and get some reviews and testimonials. Uh, we do this when we launch courses up on Udemy, for example, or when we launch a new ebook uh, or ebook bundle or training program. And, um, you know, it gets you publicity. It gets you, um, you know, some people will post the review on their blog. Some people will want to interview you. Other people will just give you personal feedback, which you can then wrap into a testimonial. Um, so you want to send out ideally hundreds of these, but start with 20 or 30 to make it manageable. And you want to blast these out. And for every sort of 20 to 30 you send out, you might get 10 back. Right, so that's sort of the number to, to shoot for. Um, ask them to review it. Give them some guidelines on the reviews. So, um, you know, give them a couple of questions. It's easier for them than to do a flat out review. So say, you know, what's the number one thing you learned? What's the top benefit? What's the number one thing you would improve, uh, as for example? And then, you know, go back to them when they give you that number one thing they learned and the top benefit and say, can I use that in my testimonial? Can I use that as, as a review? Um, would you like to publish a review and then pull them into potentially uh, an affiliate partnership where they can make money off the referral? Okay, so you can often you can often find these people again by you know get on Google. It's your best friend in this in this respect, but also Twitter, Facebook. Find out the authority people and and approach people on those platforms. Sometimes you'll get a lot better reception from those places than you will by hitting them up with email because people have learned to ignore email and they're still you know, still looking at their, their Twitter and their Facebook feeds more than, than say email. All right. So, um, that was a quick overview of the five best ways to get traffic to your new launch. There's a lot that we weren't able to talk about today. So a lot about how you would structure the process. Once you get people to your site, how do you make sure your copy converts? Um, what, you know, what does your sales funnel look like? What should be step one, step two, step three of your sales funnel? Those are all critical things and will make a huge impact on whether your launch is successful. Um, infomarketerzone.com, we've talked about it a few times here, is the, the place where we share a lot of our inside secrets. We do, we run four businesses online ourselves, um, literally have dozens and dozens of websites and have helped thousands of others through both our uh, our coaching and our ongoing blog and list um, capabilities, the Info Marketer Zone will allow you to fast track your learning. So first of all, you can avoid making a whole lot of the mistakes that waste time, uh, trial and error. That's all done for you. We'll tell you what works. We'll tell you updated each week what new tech techniques we're using um, because there are literally things change on a week by week, month by month basis in this industry in terms of tools you can use. Uh, and methods you can use on those tools. So in other words, the, the approach you would take to get traffic and sales from Facebook is quite different than Instagram or from Twitter, just as one ex small, tiny example. And that's different, again, than what you would do in content and email. So lots of little finite things there. None of this is rocket science, but it, it, you know, if you can cut down three or four months off your, your go-to-market uh, and, and get to profit that much quicker, then you know this is a very inexpensive way to do it. Uh, it's guided to hundreds of launches, full tutorials. We have tools up there, some of our templates and tools. Um, there's a six-week fast start getting getting started program that takes you from A to Z in terms of launching a business. Um, and of course, there's mentors over there in a private mentor forum where you can save uh, literally thousands of dollars that we would charge normally in consulting fees. Okay, so head over to infomarketerzone.com if you want to get that fast track. Otherwise, we will be coming to you soon. You can uh, head over to HireTrustMarketing.com. It's where we publish all the content. It's where you'll find this video as well as on YouTube. And you will find uh, our podcasts uh, up there as well, which you can listen to and we update weekly. All right. 
thanks for listening. Hope you found this useful. If you do, leave a comment uh, down below. Love to hear from you guys. If you have a question too, leave a comment. And we'll get it answered in a future edition. But for now, appreciate your attention and uh, get out there and apply these principles to your business. Bye-bye for now.